Good morning. My name is Julie, and I am on a dirty, low-carb, keto journey. Not as dirty today as it has been. Yesterday I did pretty good too, actually, uh, and even better today. And something that I'm doing different to help myself, to force myself to cook and to make the right choices. Um, you know, being so sick this last week, Good Lord, it was really uh, an eye opener. Well, I didn't have my eyes open much, but but it really was a like a wake up call to me. And um, at at the risk of being my usual melodramatic self, which I'm totally cool with, uh, yeah, it was like a a rebirth, if you will. Um, and I, I decided I'm not wasting any more days. I just lost a week of my life laying there in bed, which was incredibly aggravating. Uh, and so I, I am coming out of this, still not, you know, 100%, and the, the headache keeps trying to come back, and I'm fighting that sucker. Um, but I, I came out of this with a renewed sense of purpose and determination to get on, on track and to really start making a difference. And then you add to that the fact that Disneyland is reopening today to California residents, and I am aching Oh God, um, aching to be there. And it's 157 days till Mariah and I go to Disney World together. Mariah's my youngest child. And um, I just, I just, I'm feeling a lot of feels, okay? So many feelings. And I was able to like put my face on this morning and get all Disneyed out, you know? And um, I feel like rededicating myself. So what is it I, I've done? Well, I just picked up our grocery order at Walmart and there were a lot of super convenient, low carb or low carb adjacent foods and things that I normally would get and I didn't order any of them. And it was really hard to do that because I'm, I'm so used to having them, but I realized that those foods were holding me back because they were so convenient, so handy, and made me feel kind of comfortable, not facilitating any real progress, but they made me feel comfortable. You know, like I was doing just enough, but it's not enough. And life is short and I don't wanna waste any of it. I don't wanna waste any more of it. Anyway, yeah, it really was that bad of a week. I, I, there's no need for hyperbole here, exaggeration. No, it really was that bad of a week, physically, mentally, emotionally. And hey, something good, besides being fully vaccinated, something good has come out of it. And that is this renewed sense, maybe more so than ever, of determination and desire to do better, be better, and to make some progress. So I picked up a lot of foods, but they all need to be cooked. <laughs> and, and is that a pain? Yes, it is. Yes, it absolutely is. Um, but it's also such a wonderful privilege. It's such a great privilege to be able to not be stuck in bed or on the couch and to be able to get into that goddamn kitchen and cook. You guys know I hate cooking. All right, and, and to do keto right, you need to cook if you wanna make any kind of progress. And that is what we're gonna do. So that is my keto journal today. It's a new day. Disneyland is open. Disneyland is open. I've been watching the live streams all morning because of course I have, and it just, God, the magic, the beauty, the... Ah, I know I am committed to buying a new car in July. I am, okay? But mama is working on making a way that the kids and I and my sister can get back there as soon as out-of-staters are allowed in. I know, I, but if you don't have a goal, what are you even working on? Like, I can't just sit around, not anymore, and, and hope for things to happen and hope for things that I want, changes I want, etc., improvements I want. I can't just sit around 
hoping those things will happen or just accepting the way things are that aren't as good as they really literally could be, can be. So even the impossible, Walt Disney was always saying it. It's, it's fun doing impossible things, you know, and, uh, it all, it all starts with a dream and then finishes with a lot of determination and dedication and just happens to include getting healthy and getting myself and my family to Disneyland. And you got to have things, incentives and motivations and then, you know, purposes and then find a way, make a way to realize those, those dreams and those goals. Anyway, starting today with a better grocery order, one little step, you know, anyway, I feel good. Uh, my head is a little, mm. like I said, I've been fighting the fighting the headache all morning, uh, trying not to let it come back and take over again. I just, I can't let that happen. <sighs> I feel, I feel hopeful. And that is, um, that's a beautiful feeling. And I feel determined and that is a beautiful feeling. So thank you for letting me, um, share that. Hi neighbor. Thank you for letting me share that with you today. Happy Disneyland reopening day. I just got home. I'm going to go have some coffee and uh, start cooking, prepping some food. Have a beautiful day.